Welcome to the Ultimate Sports Blog Podcast. Today is Friday, December 14th, 2018. Today I'm going to recap last night's Thursday night game between the Chargers and the Chiefs. NBA, NHL, college hoops, week 15 picks, and my best bet. NFL and what was one of the best games all season, the Chargers defeated the Chiefs 29-28. As the Chargers improved to 11 and 3, the Chiefs dropped to 11 and 3. The Chiefs still have the upper hand in the division because they have the record tiebreakers in terms of common opponents and because of division records. This was just a great game. Philip Rivers put himself on the map for MVP with his performance: 26 of 38, 313 yards, two touchdowns, and two picks. Patrick Mahomes. 24 of 34, a season low, 243 yards with two touchdown passes. I'll make my picks for the weekend later on in the podcast. NBA, a couple games last night. The Rockets with the big win over the Lakers, 126-111. The Rockets improved to 13 and 14. Lakers dropped to 17 and 11. James Harden, 50 points, 10 boards, 11 assists. Clint Capella had 16 and 14. Chris Paul had 14 with 9 assists. Eric Gordon had 13. Off the bench, Danielle House Jr. had 15. LeBron James had 29. Kyle Kuzma had 24. Javal McGee had 11. Josh Hart had 15. And off the bench, Lance Stevenson had 17. The Spurs killed the Clippers, 125-87. Impressive win for San Antonio to get back above 500. They're seven, or I'm sorry, 15 and 14. Clippers 17 and 11. LaMarcus Aldridge, 27 points. Rudy Gay had 21. Derek White had 11. Bryn Forbes had 10. DeMar DeRozan had 14. Off the bench, Patty Mills had 11. And Marco Bellinelli had 14. Tobias Harris had 17. Donald Gallinari had 15. Shea Gilligas Alexander had 13. Avery Bradley had 15. The Magic defeat the Bulls 97-91 in Mexico City as the Magic go to 13-15. Bulls drop to 6-23. Nikola Vucevic had 26 with 10 boards. DJ Augustine had 15. Evan Fournier had 10. Jonathan Isaac had 10. Justin Holiday had 18. Zach Levine had 23. Bobby Portis had 15. Robin Lopez had 11. The Suns defeat the Mavericks 99-89. The Suns are 5 and 24. Dallas 15 and 12. TJ Warren 30 points. Trevor Ariza had 13. Off the bench. Josh Jackson at 14, Jamal Crawford at 17, and Rashawn Holmes had 11. Harrison Barnes had 15, Luka Doncic had 13, DeAndre Jordan had 14 with 15 boards, Wesley Matthews had 11, Dirk Nowitzki's first game back, only 6 minutes of action, went 1 for 2 with only 2 points with the rebound, and Jalen Brunson off the bench had 13. Tonight's slate. You have at 7 o'clock the Knicks at the Hornets, the Hawks at the Celtics, 7.30, the Wizards at the Knicks, the Bucks at the Cavaliers on ESPN, the Pacers at the Sixers. I thought this game was at Indiana. I might have said that on my podcast yesterday. I was wrong. The game's at Philadelphia, and I think the Sixers are going to win this game. I think Jimmy Butler will be back, and that crowd will be ruckus. 8 o'clock the Heat at the Grizzlies, 10 o'clock the Thunder at the Nuggets, and that's on ESPN as well. These two teams had a a fun game against one another last year. I believe Paul George hit a game-tying three with less than 10 seconds to go, and then the Nuggets came back, and I think Gary Harris hit the shot at the buzzer for the Nuggets to get the win. It was a TNT game last year. So it was a little rematch of that. I think the Nuggets get the home win, although I fear it a tiny bit because Oklahoma City's been playing good basketball, and they're coming off a loss. And then also you have the Raptors at the Blazers and the Warriors at the Kings. Hockey last night, decent slate. The Sabres defeat the Coyotes 3-1. to The Coyotes improved to, well, I'm sorry, dropped to 13-15-2, and, and the Sabres improved to 99-4. and Number one star of the game with a goal, Casey Middlestad. The number two star of the game with a goal, Evan Rodriguez and the number three star of the game with an assist, Jack Eichel. The Blue Jackets defeat the Kings 4 1. The Jackets go to 17 12 2. The Kings drop to 11 20 2. 
the number one star of the game with two goals, Artemi Panarin, number two star of the game with two assists, Cam Atkinson, the number three star of the game with the goal, Lucas Sedlak. The Canadians defeat the Hurricanes 6-4 as the Habs go to 16-11-5. Carolina drops to 13-13-4. Number one star of the game with two goals, Jeff Petrie. Number two star of the game with two goals, Andrei Shveshnikov. And the number three star of the game with an assist, Shea Weber. The Lightning defeat the Maple Leafs 4-1. Tampa 25-7-1. Toronto 21-10-1. The number one star of the game with 48 saves on 49 shots, Andre Vasilevsky. The number two star of the game with a goal and assist, Anthony Sorelli. Number three star of the game with a goal and assist, Nikita Kucherov. The Predators defeat the Canucks 4-3 in overtime. The Preds go to 21-10-1. Vancouver drops to 14-16-4. Number one star of the game with a goal and assist, Colton Sissons. The number two star of the game with a goal, Ryan Hartman. The number three star of the game with a goal and assist, Nick Benino. The Wild defeat the Panthers 5-1. Wild 17-12-2. Florida 11-13-6. Number one star of the game with two goals and an assist, Nino Niederreiter. The number two star of the game with three assists, Ryan Sutter. Number three star of the game with two assists, Jared Spurgeron. The Jets defeat the Oilers 5-4 in overtime. The Jets are 29-2. Edmonton, 17-12-3. Number one star of the game with two assists, Dustin Bufflin. Number two star of the game with two assists, Connor McDavid. Number three star of the game with the goal, Matthew Perrault. The Sharks defeat the Stars 3-2 as the Sharks go to 17-11-5. Dallas drops to 16-13-3. Number one star of the game with two goals, Timo Mayer. The number two star of the game with assists, Eric Carlson. And number three star of the game with two assists, Logan Couture. Tonight's games at 7 o'clock, we have the Coyotes at the Rangers, the Golden Knights at the Devils, the Bruins at the Penguins, 7.30, the Senators at the Red Wings, the Capitals at the Hurricanes, 8 o'clock, the Avs at the Blues, 8.30, Jets at the Blackhawks, 9 o'clock, Flyers at the Oilers. College basketball. North Alabama defeats... Huntington, 90 to 58. North Alabama improves to 3 and 7. Rice defeats St. Edwards, 78-73. Rice, 4 and 6. Gardner Webb defeats Kennesaw State, 81-77 in overtime. Gardner Webb, 7 and 5. Kennesaw, 1 and 9. Duquesne defeats Maryland Eastern, 72-57. Duquesne, 7 and 2. UMass, 1 and 9. Milwaukee defeats UMKC, 69-66. Milwaukee, 3 and 8. UMKC, 3 and 8. FIU defeats North Florida 102-89. FIU 8-2. North Florida 4-7. Dartmouth defeats Boston University 78-68. Dartmouth 7-5. BU 6-5. Campbell defeats Central Penn 100-53 as Campbell goes to 5-4. Longwood defeats Averett 81-57 as Longwood goes to 8-4. Wright State defeats Northwest Ohio 91-52. Wright State is 5-6. Sanford defeats Moorhead State 77-72 in overtime. Sanford 9-2, Moorhead is 3-7. McNeese defeats NC Central 77-61. McNeese 3-6, NC Central 4-7. Number 16, Wisconsin defeats Savannah 101. The 60, Wisconsin 9-2, Savannah 3-9. Tulsa defeats New Orleans 70-60. Tulsa 8-3, New Orleans 4-4. Four four. Sacramento, I'm sorry, San Francisco defeats Eastern Washington 85-63. San Francisco 9-1. Eastern Washington 1-7. Santa Clara defeats Mississippi Valley State 82-54. Santa Clara 5-6. Mississippi Valley 2-10. CSU Bakersfield defeats Lamar 86-55. Bakersfield 6-4. Lamar 4-6. And, and last but not least, Sacramento State defeats West Cliff 89-40. As Sacramento State improves to 6-2. Two. Tonight's late small because it's Friday. 7 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, UIC at DePaul, Howard Washington, I'm sorry, George Washington, Bruton Parker, Georgia Southern, 8 o'clock, FAU, Arkansas State, Mayville State, North Dakota, Arlington Baptist, Houston back for this at 9 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, Green Bay at Creighton. Now I'm going to give out my picks for NFL Week 15. A friendly reminder that there are two games tomorrow. We're going to start with tomorrow. The Texans at the Jets. The 9-4 Texans at the 4-9 Jets. The Texans are coming off a disappointing divisional home loss against the Indianapolis Colts. The Jets are coming off a divisional road win 
in Buffalo against the Bills. Sam Darnold showed a ton of promise in that performance last week, but I see the Jets having a letdown after a feel-good win for themselves as the Texans rebound to inch closer to a playoff and division title. Houston 26, Jets 17. The 5-7-1 Cleveland Browns are at the 6-7 Denver Broncos, 8-20 on the NFL Network. A big one in the mile high. The Broncos are coming off a big home win over the Panthers, I should say the Browns. The Broncos are coming off a disappointing road loss in San Francisco against the 49ers. A lot of people are high on the Browns in this spot, but their home and road splits are disturbingly bad, and I think the Broncos' pass rush will get to Baker Mayfield as the Broncos play desperate to keep their playoff hopes alive. Denver 30, Cleveland 20. Sunday, December 16th, the 3-10 and Arizona Cardinals at the 4-9 Atlanta Falcons, 1 o'clock on Fox. The Cardinals are coming off a home loss against the Detroit Lions. The Falcons are coming off a bad road loss in Green Bay against the Packers. The Falcons are a team that looks to have quit on its coach and is poised for big changes this offseason. And this is very reminiscent of when the same Cardinals team as a big underdog in Green Bay and beat that same Packers team that the Falcons just lost badly to. Josh Rosen shows flashes and leads the Birds to another big upset win. You heard that right. Arizona 27, Atlanta 20. The 5-8 and eight Detroit Lions are at the 4-9 Buffalo Bills, 1 o'clock on Fox. The Lions are coming off a road win in Arizona against the Cardinals. The Bills are coming off a divisional home loss against the New York Jets. The Lions are probably the better team, but I like the Bills and Josh Allen here to get the win. Buffalo 23, Detroit 20. The 5-7-1 Green Bay Packers at the 9-4 Chicago Bears, 1 o'clock on Fox. The Packers are coming off a home win over the Atlanta Falcons. The Bears are coming off a big-time Sunday night home win over the Los Angeles Rams. The Bears' defense is great when they're playing in their home building with injuries on the Packers' offensive line. I see that pass rush getting after Aaron Rodgers and clinching the NFC North with the win. Chicago 26, Green Bay 16. The 3-10 Oakland Raiders at the 5-8 and Cincinnati Bengals, 1 o'clock CBS. The Raiders are coming off an upset home win over the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Bengals are coming off a road loss in Los Angeles against the Chargers, in which they played well in. That said, I like the Raiders and how they've been playing over the last few weeks, and I think Derek Carr and that offense will put up more points and get a road win. Oakland 30, Cincinnati 16. The 8 and 5 Dallas Cowboys at the 7 and 6 Indianapolis Colts, 1 o'clock on Fox. Joe Buck, Trey Aikman, Eric Andrews on the call. The Cowboys are coming off a big divisional overtime home win over the Philadelphia Eagles. The Colts are coming off a big divisional road win in Houston against the Texans to keep their slim playoff hopes alive. This is another big spot for Andrew Luck and the Colts, and I think they get the home win to snap the Cowboys' five game winning streak. Indianapolis, 23, Dallas, 17. Miami Dolphins at the Minnesota Vikings, 1 o'clock CBS. Vikings 6 6 and 1, Dolphins 7 and 6. The Dolphins are coming off a miracle divisional home win over the New England Patriots. The Vikings are coming off a miserable Monday night road loss in Seattle against the Seahawks. This screams bounce back for the Vikings and let down for the Dolphins after the miracle win. Kirk Cousins and that offense rebound with their new offensive coordinator and get the win. 27 16, Minnesota. The 7-6 Tennessee Titans at the 5-8 New York Giants, 1 o'clock CBS. The Titans are coming off a Thursday night divisional home win over the Jacksonville Jaguars. The Giants are coming off a divisional road win in Landover against the Redskins. The Giants, since their bye, have been much better offensively, and I think Saquon Barkley leads them to their third win in the row and crush the Titans' playoff hopes. Giants 34, Tennessee Titans 27. The 6-7 and seven Washington Redskins at the 4-9 Jacksonville Jaguars, 1 o'clock on Fox. The Redskins are coming off just a debacle of a loss against the New York Giants at home. The Jaguars are coming off a Thursday night divisional road loss in Nashville against the Titans. Josh Jackson is starting at quarterback for the Redskins over Mark Sanchez, and he provides mobility that I can see tricking the Jags' defense. I expect the bounce back from the Redskins and their defense, too, since Cody Kessler is starting at quarterback and... Jaguars don't have Saquon Barkley on their team. So give me the Redskins to win outright on the road. 23-16. Washington. The 5-8 and eight Tampa Bay Buccaneers are at the 7-6 Baltimore Ravens, 1 o'clock on Fox. The Bucs are coming off a divisional home loss against the New Orleans Saints. 
The Ravens are coming off a heartbreaking road loss in Kansas City against the Chiefs. Lamar Jackson has been much better than I expected as a starter, and I expect him to lead the Ravens to a big win to perhaps take over first place in the AFC North if the Steelers fall to the Patriots. Baltimore 30, Tampa Bay 20. The 8-5 Seattle Seahawks at the 3-10 San Francisco 49ers. 4 o'clock on Fox. The Seahawks are coming off a big Monday night home win over the Minnesota Vikings. The 49ers are coming off an upset home win over the Denver Broncos. The Seahawks are well overdue for a letdown spot, and this feels like it on the road against a divisional opponent. Nick Mullins shreds the Seahawks and leads the Niners to their second straight upset home win. San Francisco 23, Seattle 20. The 9-4 New England Patriots are at the 7-5-1 free-falling Pittsburgh Steelers, 425 on Fox. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson on the call. The Patriots are coming off a brutal divisional road loss in Miami against the Dolphins, in which was a fluky ending. The Steelers are coming off a bad road loss in Oakland against the Raiders, in which Chris Boswell slipped while attempting a game-tying field goal at the end, so that was sort of a fluky loss too. One thing for certain is that Tom Brady owns the Steelers, and without James Conner again for the Steelers, I see the Pats winning this one. Let's go with 28-23 Pats. The 6-7 and seven Philadelphia Eagles are at the 11-2 Los Angeles Rams, 8-20 on NBC. The Eagles are coming off a brutal divisional overtime road loss in Arlington against the Cowboys. The Rams are coming off a bad Sunday night road loss in Chicago against the Bears. Carson Wentz might be out for the season with the ver- a broken vertebrae, and Nick Foles is starting. Huge bounce back win for Jared Goff and the Rams here as they win big. Rams 37, Philadelphia 17. Monday night, the 11-2 New Orleans Saints are at the 6-7 Carolina Panthers, 8-15 on ESPN. The Saints are coming off a bounce-back divisional road win in Tampa Bay against the Buccaneers. The Panthers are coming off a brutal loss in Cleveland against the Browns. The Panthers have free-fallen badly as the Saints are trying to get that one seed, and I think they send the Panthers to their sixth straight loss in a close game. New Orleans 27, Carolina 23. Best bet, I'm actually going to do it for the night. Screw the weekend. I'll save the weekend picks for tomorrow and Sunday on the podcast. I'm going to go with tonight's NBA doubleheader on ESPN. I'm going to wager a dollar with the Philadelphia 76ers minus four at home against the Indiana Pacers. I don't feel good about it because we don't know the status of Jimmy Butler. But still, they're home, and I think they're poised to bounce back here. And give me the Denver Nuggets. I believe they're a two-point favorite over the Oklahoma City Thunder. No, it's, they're a one-and-a-half-point underdog. I'm taking that money line. I'm taking the money line, and I wager a dollar to win two or any. I hope you guys have a great day, everybody.